how do you learn a new track as fast as possible the reason why i came up with this video is just that the nordschleifer came out to hsc and i suddenly realized that this video is missing on the channel so let's get into it and this video might be interesting for people who don't have the luxury to sit in the sim rig for 27 hours a day so i came up with a way and tips to learn tracks faster uh, this will help if you are a newbie or you're already experienced and maybe if you're an absolute pro maybe this can help you out as well maybe there are some tips here you didn't realize or think of imagine your human brain can all, can process like 11 million bits of information unconsciously so this is like every second but our conscious brain can only when focused process 50 bits of information so this is like a tiny bit so this is how we actually learn how can we make the most use of this only 50 bits of information so first i would say get your car that are you are familiar with and have a safe setup so you don't get distracted by the behavior of your car so maybe i know preset would be an option it's on the video down below in the description and if you're super lazy like me you just buy the Arnold's preset from the Patreon store 750 all cars all presets everywhere now you also want to take away all the unnecessary overlays like Delta RPM counter all that stuff get rid of it and what you want to do is make your heads up display bigger for only your track map because you're gonna learn and use this track map on the left like in ACC you can do this with other sims as well and you're gonna use that as an indication now I'm gonna take the Aston Martin on Zolder I know Zolder but I'm gonna show you how my first lap would look if I would like not know this track and it's gonna be super slow and I'm gonna show you some tips what I would do and you didn't watch any detailed track guides or whatever information you're completely blank into this so i think that's important for your like unconscious mind to really be focused on everything because if you already know some information beforehand then you're gonna be yeah yeah i know this i know this and you're gonna make mistakes so really be fresh minded into this first few uh laps so here is i how i would do it i would load uh, this up and out reset don't worry about time temps just yet it's not super important for this absolute number one lap oh and also uh the settings that you could use for the uh heads up display this is what i did 120 and like 500 left margin disabled disabled enabled just like uh copy this and when you go to the track look i have this now uh, in the middle so i have like a very detailed view okay this is what's gonna happen uh, the next corner section in the lap that i'm gonna show you it's a little bit more to the left so you can see more but uh, this is something i would use so i'm taking a hot lap mode never do it when you're practicing just use the just use the uh, practice session button for an example so what i'm going to do now is i'm gonna look at that left and this i can see oh that's uh, like a sharp corner oh and this is also like a sharp corner now what a newbie does is hit it on a straight and go full throttle but there's no point so because we need to learn and we need to use this 50 bits information to learn the track now i'm just going to be super slow and see what is a proper racing line here and i'm going to be adjusting this a whole lot in mid corner because i want to actually get into this track i can see there's a corner going all the way around to the right and over here i can see it's getting bigger this is a bigger corner than the previous one so now over here i can see this is a good corner as well but i want to go to the inside probably and see get this information into my subconscious slowly because 
on a we can always go full throttle on a straight line this is not massive scale now here we have this chicane uh, we're gonna be slowly here as well and really feel how big these curbs can be and just be super slowly now over here as well we, get, we have this round man to the right and we can also see now on the on the track map oh this is a chicane here being slowly again there is no rushing you can just go slowly over here and really feel like what's going to happen now over here as well you can see oh this is around corner, but it's actually moving up a little bit and over here it's also kind of blind but then again if you go slowly you can see on this corner oh here i need to go like a slightly left here we have a very like tight left uh, right hander so we can really do this slowly as well now this is just like how i would learn a new track because there is like if you hit the grass or you go off in the beginning it's very demotivating and i don't really think it's gonna help you again here we have that chicane and just make sure you're hitting those apex the first time you're there yeah and because when you go slowly you can actually process this if you try to really push it the first time then bruh, this is gonna be so much more difficult now i would just uh do this like for 30 or 45 minutes and like and then i would just stop now again i look this backwards and it's a little bit unfair because i know solar a little bit so but then again i would do this slowly so you can absorb this information now what i would do next is get into a super detailed track guide and suck up all that information and this is something what i'm doing when i'm not on the rig i'm just like because i have only a few hours on the rig every week and i don't want to waste my time on the rig so and whenever i have a break uh, on work time or like i'm like doing nothing or being somewhere i'm just looking at my phone and looking at how these awesome people make these super detailed track guides now the next time let's say the same day but a few hours later or whatever i would again go for a cluster of 45 minutes and start driving it again but now you have some knowledge from the track guide where you can also see where uh, maybe breaking points are or which gears they're using or speeds but still i would not go like find that perfect breaking point i was just building this up this lap time you need to build up so again if you go off all the time you will lose the rhythm you will get out of the flow you will want to want to build it up so being safe every time and building this up now again 45 minutes maybe an hour and then i would just stop and go back to it the next day later you probably don't have a lot of time to get into this detailed track guide again now i would just watch hot laps because a nice hot lap can show you oh oh he's actually doing this full throttle oh he's actually not even breaking here for this corner now these are like very advanced uh hot laps because i didn't see any hot laps that have a very high lap time but you could also review your own hot lap record it see what's happening see what you're doing it is particularly interesting for me because i really think like yeah, yeah i know every track but sometimes i just look at a hot lap video and i'm like oh my god i did this wrong you know so you can always learn something from a hot lap video whenever you have like a few seconds oh just what's it that's a hot lap hm, okay so, and then later after a few months maybe rewatch a complete new track guide again and find new details on how you can improve again on your lap time so basically what this means the frequency of practicing would be like uh every day for 30 minutes or 45 minutes now if you are already very experienced in sim racing uh, why are you watching this video man but and again uh, if you're not like super experienced 45 minutes or 30 minutes a day is in my opinion the best time because uh, if you do it longer obviously you're gonna learn more but as efficiently as possible we're talking here yeah so every day 30 minutes 45 minutes will be absolute the sweet spot in my opinion 
and then after one week of practicing or you're actually getting familiar you know what's gonna you're going to anticipate corners you're gonna know oh this is the chicane oh this is this weird bump i need to be careful with steering input if you're getting into this kind of driving then absolute you need to pick up that pace hitting the throttle on the straight and then slowly building up this consistency and also turn on all your overlays again lap time delta whatever i'm also hearing a lot of people say uh yeah i'm not so fast so i'm not gonna go into races i would just say this if you are finding some consistency and you can drive this track without going off and you're consistent with your braking points and whatever you don't have to be fast but you need to get into races on this particular track so you can actually gain more experience with cars around you because chasing somebody or somebody's like pushing you hard you get new information as well so keep that learning curve interesting for yourself so and actually enjoy sim racing because at the end of the day it's about the enjoyment as well yeah now if you learn the track pretty good and you're familiar with it but you're still struggling let's say on the curbs you have a setup problem with your car or you don't really like the curbs you want to watch this video next where i get all into curbs and how to attack them and how to change your setup so you can actually nail those curbs and be even more consistent on your tracks that you just learned.